before I go and talk to them about this video, I just want to let you know this is a spoilers ad for this video gameplay. So if you guys have not played the game, please do not watch this video. If you guys have played this game, watch this video. If you guys are interested in playing this game and want to find out more, watch this video. But there are spoilers ahead. So if you are into gameplay and not into the story, well then watch ahead. Uh, because honestly, this is kind of a similar origin story to Into the Spider-Verse. So if you've seen Into the Spider-Verse, a lot of stuff I'm going to be saying in this video is not spoilers. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Wow. Uh, I can honestly say this is probably one of the best games I've ever played. Um, not the top 10, but one of the best. You know, within the top maybe 25 games I've ever played. Um, you know, and that also includes the original Spider-Man game, which I feel was a lot more lengthy than this Spider-Man game. Um, personally, I would have been okay with the length of the last Spider-Man game being similar to the length of this Spider-Man game. And also, introduction of new characters. Um, I feel like uh, in this game, we didn't we didn't get the chance to be uh, secondary characters. Uh, like in the first game, we were able to be Miles Morales. And in the first game, we were able to be uh, Mary Jane. This game, I feel like we should have less, at least been uh, Peter Parker. You know, I know Peter Parker and Mary Jane were away. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Before I go and talk to them about this video, I just want to let you know this is spoilers ahead for this video gameplay. So if you guys have not played the game, please do not watch this video. If you guys have played this game, watch this video. If you guys are interested in playing this game and want to find out more, watch this video. But there are spoilers ahead. So if you are into gameplay and not into the story, well then watch ahead. Uh, because honestly, this is kind of a similar origin story to Into the Spider-Verse. So if you've seen Into the Spider-Verse, a lot of stuff I'm going to be saying in this video is not spoilers. So first off, uh, his uncle, the Prowler? What? That's crazy. Like, you have a Spider-Man who's actually related to a villain. Um, I wouldn't even say he's a villain more so. I would say more so a mercenary. Um, but just the fact that he's related to him is kind of interesting. Um, now, I know this, the Prowler is actually introduced and shown within the MCU. Um, but is he someone as significant as we think he is in the MCU? No. Uh, and is he significant in this game? Yes. Uh, because he helps him. He sets a mission to, to, to talk to Spider-Man. He tries to get close to Spider-Man. And then he gives up his freedom to put away the people that did Spider-Man wrong. I feel like Aaron Davis is a good guy. You know. Um, so free Aaron Davis. I feel like he's a good guy. Miles Morales uh, is very naive. I feel like. Um, the character should at least have some more growth to him. I would have preferred maybe a Miles Morales not so close to his origin, but more so a story that makes a significant change in how he operates as Spider-Man so that he doesn't operate in the same sense uh, like Peter Parker operates. And I understand that he follows an oath that Peter Parker gives to him as a Spider-Man, and that's cool and all, but I feel like he should operate as, on his own terms since he's going to be operating mainly in Harlem. That we have other Spider-Man activities that uh, Peter Parker will be handling outside of Harlem or Brooklyn or, uh, you know, wherever, you know, Miles Morales is not. Uh, but being that there's two Spider-Mans, I mean, would would uh, a villain actually be scared about that? You know what I mean? You got a Spider-Man who can go invisible and use Venom energy. And then you have another Spider-Man who's been defeating all you guys with no powers. And then you're going to potentially have more other Spider-Mans come in. Like at the end of the game, we have Harry Osborn being shown uh, through Oscorp and uh, Kirk Connors, it, it, you know, saying, yo, release him. It's been long enough without my son. You know what I mean? Like, he has Venom around him. Like, the next game may be Spider-Man Venom. And I, I'm excited for that. I'm all for it, you know, because I will be getting it, you know. But I feel like... Uh, Miles Morales shall less, at least been a little bit more lengthy. Now, I understand if maybe they pit Miles Morales with another character, you know, maybe introduce him to another character that's going to be in the next game. Cool. I would have liked that. But they gave us um, the Tinkerer, and she was Miles Morales' friend, and she died at the end. And they showed his roommate, they showed his mom, his dad died in the first game. Um, but I feel like they should at least did a little bit more. 
So honestly, my rating for the game would actually be a 6.5 out of 10. Um, although I did say it was the greatest game, one of the greatest games I ever played. Uh, but that's because of the gameplay, not because of the story. Um, the gameplay was very smooth. It was actually, um, I actually played at a harder level um, than the first Spider-Man game. But because I played the first Spider-Man game, I was used to the gameplay where I was able to go in and smoothly beat it. Now, will I do a new game plus? Maybe, maybe. I am playing other games right now, but maybe I may go back to a new game plus and uh, play it again to unlock some of the other special after post-game stuff. Um, but honestly, 6.5 out of 10, only because of the story. The gameplay is, is, is phenomenal. The gameplay can stand on itself, um, but but the story, the campaign, and how easy the missions are after the campaign, I wasn't feeling it, you know? It makes you almost just have to play New Game Plus. Um, but honestly, I think that everybody should at least give it a try. If it's on sale, cop the game. Um, I played on PS5, you can play on PS4 if you have it. If you have PS5, cool. Uh, but honestly, I say give it a try. If you like it, get it on sale, holiday season. Uh, if not, hey, you know, not every game is for you. But Spider-Man Miles Morales, I say, is a game changer for those who are into heavy RPG-type games. So check it out. Chronotics out.